Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, subscribe. You are new here because this is my first YouTube video. So we're all new here, so make sure you support and subscribe and like below. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't mean to introduce myself. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl, Natalie Sharon. So for today's video, I want to talk to you guys all about my chin and vocal fat removal. So if you want to know who my doctor was, how much I paid, where I went, and all of that jazz, just keep on watching. All right, guys. So bear with me. This is my first YouTube video, so I'm going to be looking in and out of the camera. I'm sorry. I also have my notes here and my iPad, so I will be looking down. Don't think I'm ignoring you guys. I will be inserting everything in this corner. I'll be trying to include as much content as possible. Also, I am two weeks post-op today. Oh, I'm so excited. It looks so good. Ah, like, who is she? Like, what? <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. All right. So, first things first, the doctor. The doctor who I went to, his name was Dr. Castro. His office's name, Natural Body Spa. It is in Tijuana, so I am from Jersey, so I flew all the way from Jersey, all the way to San Diego. It was about six hours on the plane, and then after that, once I got there, I drove from San Diego all the way to Tijuana, from Tijuana, went back to San Diego, and then flew back home. So I did record myself when I was in the hotel before heading out to see the doctor. So I will be including that, and then I'll be right back to let you guys know all the other details. So I'm about to get ready to drive out to Tijuana to get vocal fat removal and chin lipo way overdue i'm excited i'm nervous but more excited oh my god oh my god um it says 25 minute drive from here the place that i'm going to go they recommend that i go about an hour out so my procedure is at four o'clock so i'm gonna be out at three i can't believe i'm getting this shit like that so you see my face don't mind the pimples because i've been stressed out about this shit like guys i came by myself i'm kind of familiar with this because i'm not sure if some of you guys may not know but i did get a tummy tuck and lipo done two years ago in the mini room public and all by myself and it was covid and i was crazy like come on i was cut wide open i had a bad experience with the recovery house and i did that so if i was able to do that i think i'd be able to do this i'm gonna be awake with i kind of like that i'm gonna be awake because i know what I, they're gonna be doing also getting your procedure done while you're awake it's less downtime afterwards so these are my before guys. Let's do a before, live and personal. This is gonna be my before guys. I'm gonna be standing up straight. And then as I talk to, you can see like the, the turkey deck, like really there, you feel me? Like it's there, you see, I see her. And then my cheeks, see? Well, I'm thinking it's gonna be like, I'm trying to bite my vocal. Oh here, we will go guard it. And I have dimples, and I heard your dimples will get more defined when you get buckle fat removal, so I'm excited for that. Pretty much, you're gonna lose fat. You're gonna be losing your, on your on your face, pretty much, what we're doing today. And so, I'll see you guys when I come back for my procedure. This is what it looks like when you start to pull up into the border entering Mexico. Super easy. Just a quick yeah, tip ladies, as good. soon as you cross Mexico, your phone service may leave, which did to me, but don't worry, you will get it back as soon as you enter Tijuana. This is where it is. We out here, we out here, babe. <laughs> this is where it is. Really quickly guys, I just want to mention something that no one mentioned before in none of the videos that I saw. So when you pull up to valet, make sure you know the license plates of your vehicle. I don't know if you're either going to rent a car, I rented a car. Maybe you have family in San Diego or in Tijuana, you could borrow your family's car. I did not. I went by myself, as you saw. So I rented a car. The reason why I'm telling you this is because you need it to get your medical pass. The medical pass is pretty much like an easy pass lane to cross the border. I was not able to get that pass so it took me literally an hour and 30 minutes almost like 40 minutes to cross the border after my procedure and it was not comfortable at all my face was really swollen i was dizzy and i felt super uncomfortable although crossing the border i did see a lot of stuff that humbled me i will be including more clips of that as well but yeah i just wanted to mention that make sure you know when you leave your car in valet that you know your plates of your car because they need the plates in order to give you the 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 medical pass 
So I didn't know the plates of my vehicle because it was rented. I didn't know I needed to know the um, plates of my vehicle. So I was like, oh, F it. It's not, probably not that bad. Girl, it was bad. Get your medical pass. Oh, also get it inside Dr. Castro's office. Do not get it in the pharmacy. Dr. Castro's office was charging me $40 for the pass. And she mentioned, don't worry, you could get it in the pharmacy. So that's when I was like, all right, whatever. So I went to the pharmacy because I had to get my meds, obviously, after the procedure. And they were trying to charge me literally like $170 American dollars. And I was like, how are you charging me this much? And they told me 40. Like they were trying to play me. My thing is like, if I don't mind paying it, it's just like they were trying to play me. That's why I was like, nah, fuck that. So I was even more mad and I was like, it's probably not that bad, but it was bad. So make sure you get your medical pass and know your plates, okay? So as soon as you walk in to the building, this is going to be the main lobby. Super nice. The morning of your procedure, they do send you the barcode that you will need to enter the, the building. Well, to pass the lobby. You're able to enter the building, which, by the way, it's like super high tech. Like, I felt like I was in Tokyo or something. I don't know. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that for Mexico. I don't know. Maybe I'm ignorant. I don't know. I also send you two videos explaining to you what they're gonna do and like what not to do afterwards and all that so i like that they sent me a video in the morning because i had anxiety to the point that i was like throwing up I had to go to the dispensary but don't do that it definitely calmed me down though i'm telling you i was there by myself i have the anxiety was real but i'm okay i didn't get chopped up by the cartel i'm here so this is when I was starting to shit on myself, but this is his office. Super nice and high tech. I loved it. That door you see by the TV, that's where the magic happens, ladies. This is when things were starting to get real. I was up next, but of course the shorty had to pay. So yes, I paid a thousand dollars for both my neck and vocal. So I believe it was six fifty for my neck and then three fifty for the vocal. So that was a thousand. And I would do another separate video of everything in detail of how much I spent. Obviously, I spent more than a thousand dollars. It wasn't just a thousand dollars. I had to pay for my hotel, my flight, the Faha, medical stuff. You're gonna need the medical pass and all the other stuff and everything. And I also will be linking everything down below for you guys, so do not worry. So, in order to get a quote, I'm gonna let you know how I got a quote. So, I went on Instagram, I DM'd them, I told them, What's up? I need to get rid of this fupa on my chin fupa on my chin wow so they told me literally the next appointment was six months out so i was like i'm gonna have to do it like just tell me a date tell me a date so she gave me a date six months out and i left i gave her a deposit it was 75 dollars deposit which they do deduct from your whole total just make sure you have proof of all that send them a screenshot of it on instagram that way it's quick when you're there to show them proof so definitely dm them on instagram it's gonna be wild to get an appointment unless they do have like people who cancels like the two days prior and they'll put that on their story but who's gonna book a flight and rearrange their life last minute so this is when things really got real real this is the doctor playing with my stress balls it's the castro listening to bad bunny of course the first thing he starts doing is the vocal fat so i'm like all right i'm in the dentist mind you the whole time my eyes were closed they give you some goggles but i don't care eyes were closed i don't want to see anything he starts by doing this side first it felt like a dental procedure so i just had my mouth open he injected he numbed it he took it out this wasn't bad when he took it out i didn't feel it what i did feel was when he was like stitching it uh, it felt like really bad it hurt so that's when i was already getting anxiety i'm already like tweaking like all right all right my hands are sweaty so i I release the balls and my I dry my hands and grab the balls again. So I'm grabbing them balls. Literally, just grabbing them balls. <laughs> so then he goes on this side to numb it. For some reason, the fat was like taking longer to come out. And they were like beating me up to get that fat out. I'm like, what is going on? So they got it out, start stitching it. Stitching didn't feel that bad on this side. So book was around. I'm gonna insert a picture. And when I saw this, I was like, that's so much fat. Like, I was a little scared to do vocal at the in the beginning because I don't want to look like, you know. And it's time for the lipo. So I thought going in, they were going to numb, numb, numb. No. First thing he did was, like, made the incision, like, made the cut, made the cut, made the cut. But, like, making that cut hurt. So when it was time to numb it, I'm like, what do you mean it's time to numb it? I thought that's what it was, the numbing it. He was like, no, it's time to numb it. So I'm like, all right, time to numb it. Let's numb it. So as he's numbing it, it was, it was horrible. 
he, I guess, like, injects, like, a needle. I felt it. I didn't see it. Mind you, remember, my eyes were closed the whole time. I didn't want to see anything. So he injects anesthesia fluid, which expands the fat, which is why my neck looked like this. It expands the neck. That way, the like, he could light both the shit out of, like, the fat that's in there, right? So he's injecting the fluid. It burns. So I'm like, <sighs> like, six seconds. He was right about that. Then it goes, he pushes it more in. But as he's pushing it in, you hear, like, you feel the like him going through your skin, so that hurt. So it was it was traumatizing. I wanted him to be done. I didn't want to rush him, but I was like, nigga, hurry up, hurry the fuck up. She hurt, nigga, and I'm like, fuck these balls. I threw the fucking balls because they weren't working. I just wanted him to be done. I wanted him to be done, so I I just threw them. I just threw them. So then after he numbs it, that's when the lipo starts. Which to be honest with you, the lipo was like the least part, and I was more scared of the lipo part, but like. It didn't hurt. Like, he was just doing his thing. And I would, like, I kind of enjoyed that part because I'm like, yeah, he's getting that fat out. I was super. Like, almost done with the light bulb. And for some reason, he does this part last. Going in on this part, like, as you can see in the video, I had a really turkey neck. And, like, I don't right now. Like, nothing's moving. Again, I'm two weeks. If it is moving, if I like fibrosis going on, which fibrosis is normal, by the way. He was going so deep with the light bulb. Like, this is the light bulb. And, like, let's say this is the, the stick, right? This is the stick, and then this would be, like, the end part of the lipo. Like, he was going all the way up to my chin. So that shit was, like, hitting my chin. It was really painful. So when he was done with the lipo, he started, like, massaging my face. And all you hear is, like, my fat, like, moving. Like, like vocal sounds like vocal. Like, that's the perfect word they put for vocal fat. You actually hear it, like, and it hurts so bad because the anesthesia on my cheeks wore off. So I'm like, dude, what are you doing? Like, stop! So he finally wraps my face, and I get up. He's like, oh, just wait, like, five minutes because you might be dizzy, and five minutes, you should be good. Five minutes? I'm like, I don't care if I'm dizzy. Get me the fuck out of here. So I leave. I go to the pharmacy to get my meds, and that was when they were like trying to scheme me for like the medical pass, and I was like, "Skirt, skirt, no." Here's the meds that he's gonna give you. So he's gonna give you the pain meds, which is this. It's 600 milligrams. This is the ointment he tells me to put like on all my incisions. These are the antibiotics. I I, I took them. So this is just extra. And then this is the mouthwash that you have to wash your mouth for if you get vocal fat removal. Everything else you would have to get if you do get the just lipo, but this would be for vocal fat. But yeah, the pharmacy is right in the lobby. As soon as you walk in, before coming in, you're going to see it. It's right on your right. So it was time to go through the border. And this is some of the things that I saw. I saw people trying to sell puppies. I saw people literally hustling on the weight of going into the border and it humbled me so much because it made me appreciate like the little things it makes me feel so so grateful because what i saw out there was just so sad i saw moms with their kids super young like trying to sell like little items just to like get by and it was so sad so sad but we're not gonna cry here we're not gonna cry oh and the border is no joke what is it what are they called what are they called i don't know the cops that be in the border Border Patrol? Yeah. <laughs> they had like mirrors, like trying to look underneath the cars and everything. Like, what do you guys see? Like, that's what I wanted to ask the police officer, but I didn't want to fuck with them, you know, because I don't want them thinking I have like fucking cocaine in my mind and my faja and shit, because that's what it looked like. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Shit. I suggest if you do go, make sure you take your passport. All right, guys. Sorry if it sounds different. I had to take my mic out to charge my phone because it wants to die. Uh, I'm gonna start a clip of when I just got to the hotel. Super miserable, but you'll see. All right, guys. I just got back. I have so much to catch up on. First of all, I can't even talk as much, so sorry if you do not understand me. But I wanted to mention this shit hurts. I would never do it again, that's for sure. And as you can see, my face is like really swollen. Um, it's not as swollen as I thought it was gonna be. This helped a lot. <sighs> this is my best friend. I love her. All right, guys. So next day was my flight. I looked super miserable and swollen. I was not able to sleep. I did not sleep throughout the whole recovery, to be honest, because I had to sleep facing up and I sleep facing down. So I finally get home. So this is day one post-op. I took a full shower. The doctor said it was totally fine. 
So when I take out my bandage, this is what I look like. Yeah. Hey you guys, it is day two post-op. I had my massage this morning and when I tell you it hurt so bad, it hurt so bad. Like I was about to cry. I did feel very relieved afterwards, I'm not gonna lie. The doctor recommends getting my first massage day five, but I just wanted to start doing it right away. Um, I'm going back in two, two days. Um, today I was able to but not eat. I'm still drinking protein shakes and jello applesauce. Because as you can see, I'm really swollen for day two. Like, I feel like I have more cheeks than going in. Like, what the heck? <laughs> Super swollen. I look like a chipmunk. I did add foams here because the way they were looking at me, like when I was getting my massage, they were like, wow, you're so swollen. Like, it is day two, my nigga, but whatever. But yeah, day two post up. I'll be chatting with you guys later on. All right, so as you can see, day three, uh, a lot of bruising, especially around my neck area. My massage therapist have recommend for me to massage myself, but it was so painful, guys. I couldn't even do it, honestly. On day five, I decided to cover up nicely and go see some clients. I finally made a week, and you can start to see some progress, less bruising. This was actually the first time I applied makeup, and guys, my jaw with contour and everything looks so good. Like, literally, as the days and weeks would pass by, I was just getting better and better. Like, look at the before, guys. Like, that was me. Like, honestly, that was me. Like, yeah, niggas had me out here looking like that. Like, wow. By the way, some of the things that I was only able to eat, it was just, like, baby food, jello, chocolate pudding, chicken salad, but the chicken had to be, like, really cut. Like, now I'm able to open my mouth. But before, I wasn't able to open my mouth because, like, stitches was just what weren't letting me. But... I'm doing so much better now. Again, I do like my results. Uh, I do not regret it. And I'm so excited to see how much is gonna look moving forward and all of that. So I do highly recommend going if you do feel like a little bit insecure about your double chin or anything like that. My confidence is just off the roof, like I said before. And for those who say like, oh, she should have worked out. One, it's my money and I can do whatever the fuck I want with it. And two, like what you could target fat you cannot target fat working out like come on let's be real like i don't i no no that's all i have for today i hope you enjoyed my first youtube video so again please subscribe and like this video i will be making a video on more surgery stuff and ultrasound stuff and whatever you want just write down below and i got you i'm excited to start this youtube family with you guys i hope to see you guys soon take care bye Wait, I didn't show you guys my results, like, what the fuck. So here is the front, and then here's the side. Sorry if you see my hairy armpits, I need a wax. <laughs> Let me do this arm. Ooh, what did I say? What did I say? <laughs> I'm logging off, I'm logging off, I'm logging off.